Hey everyone and welcome to today's Wix tutorial. In this video I will show you how to create or how to add a sidebar or a side menu to your Wix website. So without further ado let's get started. So without further ado let's get started. First off you want to go over to the Wix editor. Now please make sure you're inside of the editor and not inside of the Wix ADI editor. If you're still on the ADI make sure to watch this video first and then come back to this one. Now once you're inside of this editor, you simply want to go over to the add button on the left side of your screen and go over to light boxes. It's under interactive and then you want to go over to light boxes and select either one of these. Now to make the process a bit more simple, I'd recommend you use one where already there is a side menu or a side subscribe. As you can see some are in the middle and you want a side menu, so this one is the best fitting. Now simply drag and drop that onto your website and here is the basis of your site menu. Now what we're going to do is to remove the elements we don't want here, the get subscribe form. We can place that in the bottom of our site menu. I do want it centered so that's right there. Now the text I will place on the top of this. I'm going to edit it and make it say browse our site. Now the text is a little bit too big so I'm going to make it fit which is on 51. I'm going to center it once again, a little bit lower, yeah, that's right there, that's perfect. Now what we're going to do is to actually add the menu, because right now there is no menu in it. Simply go over to add, and then go over to menu and anchor. Now you want to go over to horizontal, I mean vertical menus, and select the vertical menu you'd like to paste right here. Now this one already fits the theme pretty well, so I will simply go over to that one and drag and drop it onto my side menu. You can also make it a bit larger if you'd like and then you want to make sure you place it in the center once again. I think right here is a pretty good spot. Now what you want to do is to click on design and change the design to something you'd like more. There's still a lot of things you can customize. Of course you can use a different color theme but what I want to do is to go over to customize design and then click right here so that it's an actual um, square and not all fitting. Of course you should do what you like most and there's a lot of things you can change and there's basically nothing wrong or good. It's just what you like and what you don't like. Now of course you can play around with everything that's here so you should do that on yourself and try and look what you like and what you don't like. For me I like this pretty good so what I'm going to do right now is to actually go over to the background because obviously we don't want this background when you click on the side menu. So click on change overlay background and I myself like to have it or like the background to be a bit darker but have a low transparency so that when you click on the button that we're going to add in a few minutes so that the side menu will pop up. The background so the side will get a little bit more black but it won't actually or it will still be visible. So once you have set the color go over to settings and change the opacity. This is without a background and I'd like it to be something like this. Now once you've changed the background click on save. Even though autosave is on, I always like to press it myself sometimes, but it's not necessary. Now go over to the page and go over to home or any other page. As most of you guys know, the header will be visible on all pages. So what we're going to do right now is to add the button which will open up the side menu. So go over to add yeah, and go over to decorative and then shapes. So click on more basic shapes right here. Then it will pop up in a few seconds. Sometimes it's a little bit slow because Wix doesn't always respond as fast as we'd like. Now once the factor art pops up, you simply want to go over to the search bar and search for lines. Then press enter and these are all of the lines. Now this is the icon I will use to open the side bar or the side menu. So make sure to go with something that fits your side or something else you'd like. Now because these lines are pretty small, I'm going with this one. I'm going to click on add to page and right here it is. Now what I'm going to do is to place it in the corner. I don't know why I got two. I'm going to make it a bit smaller as well. Actually I don't like this one so I'm going to change the shape. And I will go with this one right here. Add to page. And now the lines will change. So I'm going to place it in the center or at the right height. I'm going to go over to design and change the color to white. Now I'm going to make it a bit smaller once again. So it actually fits the theme as best as it can. And now what we're going to do is to click on the vector art and click on link. Because we want to link this to a light box. 
Which Lightbox? Well, the subscribe join our list. I actually forgot to change the name. If you'd like to do so, go over to page or manage pages. Click on Lightboxes on the three dots. Then rename and change the name to, in this case, sidebar slash menu. Press done. And now it's set up the way you'd like it to. So I'm going to click on home. Click on the vector art again. Click on link. And it's still linked to the sidebar slash menu. Now what we have created is that when you click on preview, you'll see that right now we have actually added a sidebar. Right here is the whole menu of our website. And when you click on this, it will actually pop up, browse our site with the menu we just created. Of course, if you have a sidebar, you might want to remove this from your site, but that's pretty self-explanatory. Just click on it and then press delete. And if you'd like to learn how to add related products in order to increase the average order value and make more profits, Make sure to watch this video and I will see you there.